Hi guys, this is Ober from Cytron Technologies. Today, I'd like to show you how to use the latest Raspberry Pi high quality camera together with the 6mm lens, it's a wide angle lens, on a Raspberry Pi 4B. So let's look at the high quality camera itself. Come in a box, I will not go through the spec again. You can uh, watch my earlier video. Uh, but anyway, let's go through what you get from the camera module itself. It doesn't come with lens, so you need to get the lens separately. So the dust cover, there's a C to CS adapter. When you mount CS lens, you need to remove this adapter. So this is the sensor itself. It is very solid aluminium frame. Okay. Let me just put this back. Just to make sure it's clean. 20 cm ribbon cable or FFC cable. There is also a tripod mount over here. Okay, just to show you to mount it onto the tripod. Okay. So beside that, I think there's something else inside the box. So there's a small envelope, a very tiny envelope. So this is actually a very small flat screwdriver for you to fasten or tighten the back focus ring over here. So you can use this to unfasten or fasten it. Okay. So this is the 6mm wide angle lens. It's a CS mount lens. So when you connect CS mount lens to the high quality camera, you need to remove the CCS adapter. I'll show you later on. So come with two dust cap. And this is the front 6mm. This is the back. Come with two adjustable ring. Uh, this is the focus. This is the aperture. Okay, so let's uh, mount this to the high quality camera and get started. First, you need to remove the back cap of the lens. Leave the front cap so that you don't, you know, dirty the front lens. Then you move the dust cover of your high quality camera together with the CCS adapter so this is the adapter remove it if you want to mount the CS lens just turn in carefully turn the lens in and just feel that is lock so that's all you can actually change the ribbon cable so that it become longer and it's easier for you to move the camera around for example you can put your camera on the tripod and the raspberry pi board uh, far away from the tripod okay so i'll show you how to do that here i have one meter cable uh, ribbon cable or sometimes it call ffc cable just you know push this connector out okay and you loosen the ribbon cable so let's put this aside take another cable and make sure when you put in the blue side is facing you okay on the other side is actually where the track is let's push it in evenly then lock push back the connector that you pull it so it's secure now okay so the other end so the other end make sure it's connected to the CSI port of Raspberry Pi so I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4B so just again loosen the connector over here just pull it up and 
make sure that the track face is facing toward the HDMI port and the blue face is facing the USB or Ethernet port. So make sure you put it evenly. Let's push down the connector again. Okay. So now it's secure. That's all. So I've done this hardware setup. I have the high quality camera here together with the CS 6mm lens. Remember to remove the adapter if you are connecting the high quality camera to CS mount lens. So if you are using CS mount, please remove this adapter. I have made mistake earlier with the CS mount and the CSN together, you cannot get the right focus. So the camera is on the tripod. Okay, just to show you the tripod. Okay, I'm using one meter length of ribbon cable or FFC cable connected to Raspberry Pi 4B. And remember to get a micro SD card for the OS. I'm using Raspbian. I'm shooting some of the item over here. There's Raspberry Pi Zero W, the box of Cytron, and a small model house. Okay. So let's get started. I'll be using VNC to log into the uh, Raspberry Pi 4B. Okay, I have entered the Raspberry Pi 4B over here through VNC. So what you see here is actually my desktop and connected to the Raspberry Pi 4B. So let's try. The uh, first thing to try is whether your Raspberry Pi camera is connected properly and is working. So the easiest is to uh, put a command sudo raspi still dash o dash top image uh, file name. When you enter, it will display whatever you get from the camera uh, for 5 seconds and then you save a file. So the file is being saved on the uh, desktop which is this. Let me open it. So I haven't adjust anything. The aperture, the focus is not adjust. Now, let me just show you uh, another way because five seconds is pretty fast. There's no time for you to adjust the focus and also aperture. So another way is to uh, put in sudo respy still dash t zero. It will display the preview constantly until you press control C T okay so display let me adjust uh, the lens now uh, first we adjust the aperture first remove or not remove you know unfasten the small screw over here and hold the front hold the front uh, link uh, while you adjust okay so it's not pointing at the right direction. Let me just okay. So this is open. It's too bright. I think this is good. It's okay. Then lock it. You know, lock the aperture, the small screw. Now let's adjust the focus so to adjust the focus turn both of the front link to ring together I think this is become blur okay improve so just make sure you turn towards that direction oh okay improve Hopefully you can see the improvement. So keep turning. Keep turning. I think that's because of the network. Oh, okay, I think that's good enough. So there you go. You get a very nice a photo of course this is from VNC to my desktop let me adjust a bit let me stand this up okay uh, 
I think I need to adjust the aperture a bit. Let me just close a bit. Oh, it's too dark. Okay, too bright. Okay. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. So I press Ctrl C to terminate the preview. Then I will uh, capture a picture. Okay. Five seconds. After that, we will capture and save. So there you go. So here I want to show you how to capture video instead of uh, image. So using the same setup, pointing the same item. So let me just uh, show you the actual preview. So this is what I have here. Let me just terminate it uh, using Control C. And to capture video, you can actually use REST uh, video with the dash T. I'll give you the command under this video later on. And I put the video uh, in the desktop. Okay, uh, for five, five seconds. So let me just show you some movement. I'm moving my finger across the video. Okay. Let me just open up the video file. This you can see. Yep, you can see. So hopefully, this uh, video is helpful for you. If you like it, please give her a thumb up and share it. See you in the next video. Bye!